so number two says know what an elastic collision is. And we did just hit this one. Lost my red. So elastic collision is a collision in which no energy is lost. And the only place we know of where elastic collisions occur is with particles, something that small. Anything bigger than that, when you have a big enough collection of particles to see, you know, just even teeny tiny pin drop size, the collisions are no longer elastic. Know how temperature and kinetic energy are related? Temperature is really a measure or indication of the amount of kinetic energy. Which is weird, but hot just means the particles are moving more. Cold means the particles are moving slower. For whatever reason, our brain senses that as warm and cold. Okay, so when you touch something and it feels cold to you, it's because the particles in there are moving slower and now the heat is being transferred from you to that thing. So then when you get up off that metal chair and the next person sits down, they can feel all the heat you transferred to it. Okay, but that's all hot and cold is, is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion, the energy of moving things. So for us in this chapter, we're interested in little tiny, the tiniest things, the particles. Yeah, just rubbing your hands together creates heat. That's all it takes.